Preparation for this new academic year has been made easier for students residing in the Mabuya Valley as their parents and guardians received monetary support on their behalf to purchase school books and supplies. Speaking to a packed Grand River Human Resource Development Center ahead of distributing educational support packages to constituents, Education Minister and MP for Denry North Honorable Sean Edward expressed his pleasure and that of the wider government in providing school assistance to the residents of the Mabia Valley. He thanked Prime Minister Honorable Philip J. Pierre for providing the funds for educational assistance as well as other programs undertaken in Denry North to improve the lives of young constituents. Olion, Gadet, La Ressource, La Pelle, Rich Fork, Grand Ravine, Grand Rivier, Belmont, anywhere in the valley has the ability and the potential to become a great citizen and a great professional once we can push them along the lines of education. Today you've come here to receive a check and that check will not take care of all the expenses that you will have in relation to sending your child to school. But it is a help. It represents a contribution from the government. Almost 300 needy families received checks to help with back to school through the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, the SSDF. Hope Coordinator with the SSDF, Kenya Wynn, said meeting the needs of children with regards to education is a fundamental right. For our educational assistance program, if you have primary school children, we only provide uniforms and shoes and bags. We will give you a referral to the Ministry of Education and they will give you assistance for all their books and so on. Secondary school from Form 1s to Form 4s, we do everything. Yes, you will get assistance for everything, books, stationery, bags, shoes. The Henry North Councillor Leona Edward welcomed the assistance to residents, saying this adds to other forms of educational assistance which have been made available to residents of the Mabia Valley by the Ministry of Education. As you would have seen that we have a lot of scholarships coming from Denry North and we all know the importance of education. I feel that the contributions that would be given today would impact and touch the lives of each and every household. Students from Denry North as well as other communities on the island who sat the CPEA and are entering secondary school for the first time in the new academic year are currently receiving one-time $500 bursary checks under the Ministry of Education's Education Access Fund to assist with the purchasing of school supplies. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.